Hey Crafterellas, it's me, Alex, and um, yay, I only had to work one job today, and my glasses are super crooked. Um, <laughs> so, I actually got this, uh, like, little thing in the, my email about um, my craft, my local sub craft supply store was having, like, they gave me 15% off. And um, I actually wanted to go back there and try to get some more of those crazy Halloween thickers. But, of course, they were sold out of the orange and the cream. So I was a little disappointed. But I did pick up some good stuff. Um, I just randomly was walking down the aisles. And from Pebbles, from the Fresh Goods, this uh, paper, it's called Signage. And it got a little damaged in the bag. But I thought that that banner paper was, like, really cute. And then... Um, I thought, okay, so it's, oops, it's Halloween time and I need to start making cards. So uh, I opted to pick up some already pre-made cards. And I know that um, Christina Werner uses these. So I picked up Hero Hues. This is in Mandarin. It's a really pretty orange. I was going to do this outside, so I had my sunglasses because it's a beautiful day here in the Bay Area, but uh, psych, there's a big old spider that crawled on the lawn chair, so I'm, I'm good. <laughs> and as I was getting ready to check out, I saw these really cute, these are the uh, Fly a Kite accessory sheets from Lime Twist for my mind's eye. These are only $1.75 for all these stickers, so I thought that was really cute. And I also picked up uh, a... Bleh, 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 Hero Arts folded cards in eggshell. And um, I know that Kate has been trying to get this whole collection. Um, so I picked these up in anticipation that she didn't have them, but she does, which is okay because I now have a few things from the Wanderer collection, which is great. These were on sale for two bucks in their clearance bin. So I got two of those and then I got the glazed brads. Um, while I was over at the Hero Art section looking at the cards, I decided to pick up one of the um, Shadow Inks, and this is an ap soft apricot, and I thought it might be nice to kind of do some tone on tone. I don't know if it really will show up, so. Um, so I made my way back down the Halloween aisle, and um, I saw these, which I didn't see on Saturday when I went, so they must have put some new stuff out. New stuff out. Do you hear me? New stuff out. This is from the Haunted Hallows collection from Teresa Collins. Collins. I can't talk. Uh, this is the Decorative Brads. And they're really cute. Got those. Got two of those. And then... Um, well, I don't know where it is right now. Oh, here it is. I picked up the 6x6 pad as well. And this is just great, like background card paper. Um, I also picked up the memory box cards. There's 25 A2 cards in here and this is in the color licorice. Only thing I don't like them about them is that you see they have the white inside. But I mean they're good. Like I said, Christina Warner uses these cards and she likes them a lot. So if she uses them, they must be good. Um, <clears throat> oh, I was when I was looking through their clearance bin when I found the brads. I actually found these, which I was excited about because as you if you saw my last haul that I got the Erie collection. Well, I picked up the chipboard stickers for the Erie collection, and I love these. I love the font. I love the colors, so that was exciting. Also for Halloween, I thought these would be cute. These are, um, and I might have these already. These are the Green at Heart, but they're orange with like little white dots. And like speckles of green. So I thought those would be good for Halloween cards. And then I just picked these up because these were also in the clearance bin. These are the chip stickers for the Hopscotch collection, which I have the papers for. Uh, uh, uh. So like I said, they didn't have them in uh, the Elm stickers in the orange. But I picked them up in a... I thought they were light blue, but they're actually kind of like a seafoam green. So, and I got the last one of these, too. They are telling me that they were, like, sold out. And I actually, that one was misplaced. She's like, oh, my God, you found one. And I said, yeah, it was super misplaced. So that's why she was shocked that I got it. Um, oh, no, it got bent. Damn. 
I got the Fly a Kite um, word stickers from October Afternoon because they were just like randomly placed. So I picked those up. Um, Echo Park, I guess, has a couple. They have their Halloween collection out and they also have a new collection called Happy Days. Um, I didn't pick up the collection pack I was going to, but then I decided not to. So I just picked up the 6x6 and Happy Days. Um, it's by Lori Whitlock and it's got like a 50 themes. 50s themed. Oh God, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, really, really cute. Kind of like doo -y. The collection pack has like really cute stickers with like Coke bottles and little girls with their ponytail and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't want the whole collection pack just because... I wanted to test out the papers. I don't really know. I mean, these would be great for, like, cards and stuff. But I do have some pictures from my mom when she was in high school that, you know, maybe I could mount on there. And then I found the Apothecary Emporium e Echo Parks Halloween for 2011. Um, they had the collection pack for this, too. Again, I passed just because I got the Eerie Collection. And I've got a trunk ton of uh, Halloween stickers and stuff that I just really got this just because it was Echo Park and it was Halloween and it's cute. Um, <laughs> now on to the next favorite holiday. Um, across the aisle from the Teresa Collins Halloween, she had the Teresa Collins Christmas Home collection and I got the 6x6 pad for Christmas papers and they're a little bit like they're not the cheerful Christmas, they're a little bit more darker and adult uh, Christmas. I love damask print. I think it's great. And I love this little weird print right here. And this paper is actually really cool. It has like all the numbers um, of Christmas. All the numbers of Christmas. All the numbers of the month. Don't mind me. At the front of the uh, store, they actually have the authentic rounder. And you saw that I got the Christmas one. Well, I picked up, or not the Christmas one, the Halloween one. Well, I picked up Splendid because I do kind of like the way that these packs, the papers are. And let me see if I can show you my favorite one. These are all cute, but let me show you my favorite one. And I know that like Nicole and Kate will love this. It's like this yellow wood grain with light blue in the background. Really pretty. I really, really like this. The Splendid collection. And then I picked this up because I'm so into yellow. It's like not even funny. Um, the Authentic Blissful Pack. And it has all those papers in it. Six by six. I'm really, ex really excited to use that. Um, then I ventured into the world of stamps, which I probably shouldn't have done, but I did anyways. Um, the Hero Arts Basic Gray Stamp Set. Uh, this is supposed to go with the Nordic Holiday. It's very reminiscent of Martha Stewart's last year. She did kind of like that Swiss thing. That's kind of like what that's like. And I don't think I can say like anymore in one sentence. <laughs> then I got the rubber ones, the Nordic Holiday uh, rubber stamps. This is what's in the pack. Little snowman that's not as cute as last year's basic gray jovial snowman, which I also have the stamp set. Where is he? Over here. I also have the stamp set for that. But what's cute is this little birdie guy. I don't know if that's not even focusing, but. So I got those. Got those. And then I also got this cling also from the Nordic Holiday, but it's labels. But I love the handwriting. Isn't that really cute? Here's what they look like. So I really, really like, and I love that it says this right here, handmade for you. Really cute. Um, I picked up the Hero Arts Holiday Collection for 2011. Some of their sentiments. This is the wishes come true. Some really nice sentiments for Christmas cards. Um, and then I got this background. I'm not sure who showed this. Maybe it was Kate. I'm not sure. But I've been looking for this background stamp forever. I think it'll be really cool for Halloween cards to maybe stamp it in orange on like a cream colored card, which is what I think I'm going to do when I finish this video. And so that'll be fun. I picked up a Mr. Huey's in bluegrass because I wasn't sure if I had this or not. I am on the hunt for the white one. I've not been able to find the white one. So... Bah humbug. Um, and these are the Teresa Collins brads that go with the Christmas collection. 
I just really like these big bling things. Um, last stamp I think that I got were was this one. How cool is that? It's a background stamp with just bats. And again, I thought it'd be really cool to stamp this in orange on an orange card, you know, whatnot, or even do like black and emboss with clear. Um, and the other thickers that I picked up are, these are actually foam, and this is what is sitting in with the American Crafts in addition to that other font. These are maple. I got them in black and white. How cool is that font? Isn't that cool? Then I went, oh wait, and then I decided to venture, I have a couple Copics, but not that many. So I decided to like venture in and I got some to color in like pumpkins. So I got YR68, YR04, YR07, and G19. Who knows how that'll go. Um, then I went to my second favorite store, Paper Source. Love that place. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. And what they do is they make these flat cards that are uh, five and a half by eight and a half. You fold them in half and boom, you got an A2 card. So I picked up a couple of these to start my Halloween cards. Um, I got the color Poppy, which is like a light orange. One of my favorites, which is Paper Bag, which you probably can't see. It's like a craft. Duh, black. And the reason why I like using Paper Source for cards is because when I fold it in half, the inside's black as well, not like the memory box. And then I got, this is one of their newer colors. It's called Cement. So it's like a mix between gray it's like cement like a grayish they have a gray but this is more like gray toby i thought that'd be really cool and then i picked up papaya which is like a pumpkin orange so i got those 575 and there's 25 cards in here it's cool and then i found these because these were in their clearance rack and i thought it'd be cool to maybe make some halloween tags um and there's 10 of this and these were a dollar these are 50 percent off these were a dollar 88 so i got them in orange and I have two little black guys. And then they have like the most amazing wall of stickles ever. Like, I guess stickles came out with some new colors. I don't think they had them there yet, but they have a huge wall of all the other stickles. And I'm sure I've got one. I'm sure I've got this, but I don't know where it is. Black diamond. That's my phone ringing. Um, yellow. Wait, all the stars are not. If you guys ever watch Mob Wives, like that's the theme song for Mob Wives. <laughs> um, orange peel and lime green. So that's my haul. That's it. I'm going to take the rest of the night off, do a little crafting, and I will show you guys what I come up with with all of my goodies. All right, take care. Talk to you guys very soon. Bye.